Lesson 11. Oh my goodness, this is the slowest going process. Thought I could get through them this summer. Summer's, well, first day of school. That's what we mark the end of uh, summer is Friday. Whoopsies! Well, here we are. Better uh, lesson 11 than lesson zero. Um, double stops today. Not the most exciting lesson, but it's we gotta do it. Lesson 12. A little excitement happening. Something to look forward to. Noli, shall we do lesson 11? Yes! I'll chew. These are for chew on. We're accessorizing here. Uh, double steps. Uh, what's going on with this? He says, keep a steady tempo and the hammers must be kept low. Uh, really? <laughs> In order to attain, to attain speed, if the arms and wrists become tired after continuous practice on these double steps, is because the stroke is too stiff. So when we do a double step, um, uh, maybe I'll, I'll give David. Do you watch these things? David Harvey has an interesting idea about double stops, the terminology. Green says double stop. We call it double stop, but maybe double stop is not the correct term. Um, when we play together, it, there's a tendency to want to play them exactly together so we get like forcefully at the same time or other ideas are that you if you lift together you drop together but that won't work if you're playing quickly there's no time to lift between each one uh, so I don't know there's probably neuroscientists who study this sort of thing but I tend to, to find that it works if you play with intent so if I think ba, it'll be together if I think ba, uh, it's gonna be uh, messy. If I'm not thinking at all, it'll probably be messy. So to always have the music in your mind, um, there you go, a philosophical idea for Wednesday morning. I thought it was Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Uh, let's do number one. And also, the great thing about doing these is that I benefit from them. I watch back and find out that last lesson, I think I said, oh, let's do it quietly. I'm playing as loud as anybody else. Everybody in the, anybody else in the building. I can hear the neighbors are playing. They're playing so loud. Let's play quietly. And you can think about your left hand and the right hand and together. Uh, one thing I remember as a kid, my teacher would say, "Oh, play swung if you want to play something straight. Practice it swung." Yeah, again, the neuroscientists probably know exactly what that's about, but we find if you go exaggerate it and then go, you can kind of hone your straight feel more because you have the reference of not so straight. Similarly, we can play flam, or that's a drumming term, we can play grace notes to left to right. Uh, Right to left. And then together. Ah, lovely. Uh, number two. C, A minor. Thinking just what are we really hearing as a, the sonority of. Number three, lower neighbor. And then this whole tone. Interesting choice, Mr. Green. Later on, he will do where the lower neighbor is a half step and the ascending interval is diatonic. Does that make sense? Lower neighbor? Lower ch chromatic lower neighbor. Uh, that's what that Jasmine Taz music is all about in this era. And then ascending. It's like those scales. They use the minors where you go up one way and down the other way. It's kind of like that. <laughs> Number four. Either 
that. Ba 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 ba. Not. Don't let your hands de de determine your swing a feel. One e and a two e and a. Oh, nice one. Number five. We get some harmony here. That's tricky. Important to do that all the time when you're playing with other people or your baby or something. Do this. Everybody knows uh, it makes you sound like a, a coquette. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, sorry, one and a two. Get this right, Nolly, shall we? Quiet. Come on. This is um, kind of like going up an escalator and watching your feet and hoping you don't like trip on your face because you got nothing when you're playing C major. It's just a bunch of rosewood. here the following exercise is 6a and 6b for if you're not a sight reader if you're not a reader is it looks scary but it's really not it's really just a pattern um, blah 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 my opinion of double stops is that they are the best exercises that can be practiced the best so he's he snuck this one in here the singer said oh lesson 11 this looks boring but green says no this is the best uh, if you develop a perfect technique for double stops you should be able to play anything else. I think, I'm always reading into, what in the world does he mean by that? Maybe it's just, it's hyperbolic nonsense of, this is the best right now, and then you turn the page, this one's the best. The ragtime is, the, or xylophone is, the, no better instrument is fit for the ragtime than the xylophone, something like this, he says. Um, so yeah, he's selling his stuff. I'm really happy I bought Lesson 11 right now because I got the best exercise. But I think if I could read into that, it, it, it's the development of both hands. So if you can play, uh, oh, if you can, I can't. <laughs> uh, mm. All right, there we go. The point being, if you can play a lot with one hand and a lot with the other together, controlled, then anything independently is going to be cake, 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 like a cakewalk. Okay, there are a lot of notes here. I'm going to try to figure this out. So this is what I mean by that lower neighbor up diatonically. Lower, 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 lower. One, two, three. Lower neighbor <laughs> and a 
ascending diatonic. Two, three, four. For the sake of time, I'm going to let that one go. Next one, a little bit more movement. One. Stop reading this <laughs> because I think I figured out the pattern. Maybe I didn't. I'm too excited about the ragtime. Except this this lesson, the ragtime is Are you striking the sharps on the ends of the bars? Are you striking the wrong notes? If so, slow down the tempo. Uh. Rack time, he says here. Uh, do, 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 keep a steady tempo. Where the accents are marked, a short, quick roll is best. If you attempt to linger too long on these notes, the roll will run into the next note following, and the rag time effect will be spoiled. No rag time. What's the opposite of rag time? question for you today. Ba 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 da 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 ba da da da. So if we go or late. So I'm going to do just left right left. It's a little severe. Real application of this. Let's go on and I'll demonstrate a couple things and then we'll call it a day. And only you will. What would we do? We'll try to eat some solid food today, huh? Yes. So decide. I'm going to play each one as, a, as two grace notes. Right, left, right. Green wind. Okay, uh, how about... Da, 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 triplet to left. or think about it, you're going to develop different options and they're going to sound clean, crispy, 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 and people are going to love it. I'm going to say, if you want. It's funny. The people, they're going to be, they're, you're like, what is this thing called? Uh, diatonic.